Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a menu bar to Microsoft Edge. So if you're an Edge user, uh, you probably notice that you don't have a menu bar up here like you used to have with Internet Explorer, you know, with file and edit and view and all that other good stuff. Um, Google Chrome doesn't have one either, but if you're a Firefox user, you'll have this menu if you enable it. I think it's disabled by default normally. So there is a way to add this. It's not an official Microsoft way. There's no setting to turn on or that kind of thing. You have to use a third-party extension. And this extension's been around for a while. It's, you know, it's decent. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's pretty much the only thing out there that I've been able to find. And it's called Proper Menu Bar for Microsoft Edge. Uh, they also have a Google Chrome version as well if you want to try that. So all you need to do is go to the uh, website here, and I'll put a link in the description. Click on Get. Add extension. And it's going to give you this little pop-up. And we'll just go ahead and close this browser and close this down too. Reopen Edge. Now you can see we have this menu here with a file menu with you know new tab, new window, close the window, print exit, edit menu with copy and paste, view menu, the zoom options, history, bookmarks window and help so it's kind of like a more like a shortcut menu bar from you know things that you could do from going to the settings or that kind of thing so it works for most pages but you'll find that some websites it doesn't work for and if you ever come across a problem where you you, you go to you know open your browser and it's not there you could try uh, opening it from your extensions here clicking on this plus and if you want you could go here and click on show in toolbar to have it shown there and now you just click on that to turn it on if it ever gets turned off. So there's ways to customize it. If you uh, click on that, go to the options. So you have your basics here. So this will show the menu bar. So you can either have it use a menu bar or do, show, show it as a Google bar. And if you turn this on, it'll have everything on by default, which is overkill. So let's go back here and refresh okay so it's already refreshed so all these Google tools here and then you could just kind of go through here and you know delete it and let's just get like the most common ones here okay so let's see what we got now so a little a little easier to use then you just need to click on whichever one you want to use here and you know say YouTube and it'll take you to the site and keep the bar up for you. And then you could also, you know, change the way it looks too from the design section. Uh, change how many Google product items you want in the toolbar. Color the links for font color. So make this white background color. Actually, that's for the uh, mouse over. So background color here. Change this to, let's say, blue. And refresh that and so it kind of matches Google there so you can just kind of go in there and tweak the settings or use a custom background uh, some advanced options here for permissions and resetting the settings and the guide and so on so most people are going to probably want to use it for a real menu bar rather than the Google bar here because you have all these options here for your Google sites but I guess if you're not on the Google page it'd be nice to have these you know handy up here too so it's up to you all right, so once again, I'll put a link in the description. You could install it, and if you realize you don't like it, you could go to your extensions, click on the ellipsis here, remove from Microsoft Edge, and then it'll be gone, and you'll be uh, back to normal. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.